All right. So now, uh, you know, I was thinking about this. I think Jordan Love might be the most talked about player ever who took over a year to get an NFL snap. Obviously, the reason why he's talked about so much is because, you know, it was such a controversial decision when the Packers got him. It really was. And so uh, we finally get to see why they made that decision. And there was a lot of good there. There was a little bit of bad and mostly good. That's how I would describe it. And I think that at the very least, in my opinion, from what we saw in a good chunk of, of film from him, we saw about half of you know, he played for the first half, which was cool to see. I didn't expect that. I thought he wouldn't have played as much, but I'm glad that he did. To me, he's at least earned a backup job. I think that that should be clear. He's the guy who probably should be, uh, you know, not healthy, scratched for every game at the very least. But I thought he looked really good. Uh, I thought that there was some that was great. So let's just get into it and talk about what I liked about Jordan Love. So let's start off with this play. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about this one. So it's... Uh, Man coverage, you have a receiver running over the middle right here. That's how this works. And this is a play that when I first saw it, this was, you know, uh, early on, the first drive. And part of me was like, oh, man, here we go, Jordan Love. Because his biggest issue in college was turning the ball over. And this is a risky play, although not as risky as it actually looks once you break it down. So it's man coverage. There's a receiver running over the middle. This is a good route against this type of coverage, but it does require a bit of patience. There's a, you know, a linebacker and a safety over the middle of the field. So typically you're not going to make this throw until you get past the linebacker. Uh, that's usually when you want to make it. And watch how Love does what you're supposed to do. He waits and he is making this throw. You could argue he's throwing uh, you know, a bit early because it is essentially right after the linebacker. But still, I think it's fine. He got it past the linebacker. That's all you have to do. The issue is mostly that the receiver he's throwing to was not open this entire time. So why are you th throwing it to a guy who isn't open? That's the bad decision part. And I would say that is a bad decision. Try to throw it to guys who are open. But again, this is the first time that Jordan Love is playing in an NFL game. Now, he obviously has had plenty of practice but he's never played in an NFL game before. So these are the things that you do have to learn, even though he isn't actually a rookie. Because again, he didn't. there was no preseason last year. Plus, a safety came in and nearly picked that off. That was just a good defensive play by the safety, good read. So that was not a bad play by Love. He, he didn't throw it into double coverage, I wouldn't say. I would just say he threw it to a guy who wasn't open. It's a mistake. I think it's not as bad once you break it down, but still a mistake. But all right, how about some positives? Let's not just dwell on the negatives. So on this play, uh, what's going to happen is that it's going to be zone coverage. And actually, for Houston, this is going to be awful, quite frankly. It's a very soft cover two zone where both safeties are going to be very far deep, uh, which is it's just stupid and it's a mistake and you're going to see. So Love takes the snap. And, you know, Houston really, I mean, they give up so much separation right here. This is not a difficult throw for Love to make. But you know what? Is it exciting? Yes, it is exciting. And to me, do I take too much away from him being able to hit a wide open receiver? No, but again, hitting him is better than missing him, right? So making this throw is good. And as you see, he is going to make this throw. So, you know, again, uh, a good throw by Jordan Love right there, albeit not exactly the highest degree of difficulty, but it does kind of show off his arm talent a little bit. He does have a big arm and can push it down the field. So it, it shows that off a little bit if you're looking for something. Yeah, he can push the ball down the field. Again, I think we knew that, but, you know, it's always nice to see it in action. There was this play, which I liked, where what's going to happen on this one is, again, it's going to be man coverage. Keep in mind the situation. This is a third down and four, so you need to pick up four yards right here, uh, if, in case you don't know how football works. Um, it's going to be a slant route on the outside. Very simple route. Watch what happens. So, Love takes the snap, and what I like about this is that He's not open right now. He's just about to get open. You can look at this and sort of see that there's a good chance that he can get open, but you don't know for a fact. However, Love knows that he has to make his throws with anticipation. He can't wait too long to make a throw because if he did just wait a little bit longer before making this throw, then, you know, probably what would have happened is that the Houston player would have saw, okay, it's a slant route. He would have had time to come over and cover it up. And as you see, uh, Love makes this throw. It's just on a dime, too. Gets there in a hurry. So great throw. Perfect timing. That's everything you want. 
You could even say that I loved that play from Jordan Love. Just all around very, 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 very good stuff. I also love this one. This is something, if you saw my Zach Wilson video, I kind of gushed over him doing it. And while I wouldn't say Love is as good at Wilson at this, it's still good. So it's going to be he's off platform. He's going to be going on a rollout. There is a play action. And you have a tight end run. That's where Love is going to want to end up throwing the ball to. It's not a very complicated play. You will see this a lot in the preseason. Part of it is because you do get to see how your play action works and you get to see how your quarterback can throw on the run because sometimes you want to check that out, especially with a guy like Jordan Love, who's that's kind of what he's known for a little bit is the fact that he can make these Patrick Mahomes type throws. That's that's what people talk about him that were high on him heading into the draft. And so watch how right when this play starts, you're going to see Love. He fakes the handoff. And this is in a good situation, but there is a linebacker running over and he's fastly approaching. So you have to do something if you're Jordan Love right here. But watch this just a great a sidearm throw off balance gets it accurate. That was just good stuff from Jordan Love, quite frankly. That's a very good play. It is a high degree of difficulty play, even if it, even if it doesn't go for a ton of yards. And if he can make that one, the hope is he can make it down to field and make ones that actually end up impacting the game more, especially with, you know, we don't know how many years Rodgers has left. Uh, we think that LaFleur could outlast him in Green Bay. Well, that would fit into LaFleur offense greatly someone who can throw on the run like Love can. One more play. I, I want to talk about this one, even though I actually don't think it's a huge deal. So uh, what's going to happen is that people kind of got on Love a little bit. Uh, you don't want to fumble, but this was not his fault whatsoever. So it's going to be the left tackle. So it's on his blind side and watch what happens. As you see, Love takes the snap and he gets rid of the ball relatively quickly too. It was just horrible timing, quite frankly. To me, that's bad luck more than anything. Maybe you got to get rid of the ball quicker, but I don't know. It was a tough read for him to see. It was bad timing. That's all I consider it. I'm, I'm not going to criticize him for that one too much. So yeah, I mean, his final stat line ends up being, you know, 12 for 17, 122 yards, a touchdown. So uh, good stat line. I would say not fantastic, but he was, he was very good. Like I said, couple of small nitpicks you could have if you really wanted to. But as a whole, I thought he looked good. Um, again, kind of the thing with Love has been consistency more so than can he be great. So just because he's had one good preseason doesn't mean he's ready to be a Hall of Fame quarterback. But, uh, you know, I, I feel feel good about what I saw from Love. And that's all you hope for out of a one preseason game. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.